What's up guys and welcome back to Be From Crypto. In this Bitcoin emergency update, we are going to look at the CPI report which occurred exactly here. And we saw that the price of Bitcoin came down to a level of 19,150 US dollars, but Bitcoin turned around and at the moment we are back above the 20,000 US dollar range. So guys, does this mean that we are going to break out even higher? Because guys, we have some positive news which occurred exactly here, which might tell us that we are at the beginning of the end and no not the end of Bitcoin but the end of fiat currencies so guys if you want to find out more watch the video until the end smash up the like button and subscribe and now let's start with the video <laughs> Welcome back to Before Crypto and guys, before we're going to go over to the charts, I want to thank you all for smashing up the like button and subscribing to my channel. You really support me a lot by completing this simple task. And guys, now let's go directly over to the 4 hour chart and as you guys can see that the CPI report occurred exactly here. And we saw this dump to a level of 19,150, but at the moment Bitcoin is just flying guys. We're going to look at the CPI numbers and we're also going to look at this positive news which came out in these areas and which might tell us that we are going to see a massive run for Bitcoin starting exactly now. And that's why it's important that you have to be for crypto. And guys, if you want to buy cryptocurrencies on the spot market, also trade crypto on the leverage market, go down in the video description below where you'll find my BitCat link where you receive a major deposit bonus and also a bonus just by completing the KYC. So guys, on the four hour chart, you can see that we perfectly bounced off from the support box and also the 19,300 US dollar level. So guys, could this mean that we're going to reach this bottom trend line? And where does this trend line come from? We're going to find out after the CPI release. So guys, let's go over to this news article. So guys, as you can see, the previous CPI was round about 4.7% and the forecast of this CPI was round about 4.7%. But the actual numbers told us that we had an inflation of 4.9%. So guys, what does it mean? Firstly, this is some negative news for the markets, but guys, the impact of the currency may go both ways. A rise in inflation may lead to a rise in interest rates and a rise in local currency. And guys, this is exactly what happened to the US dollars. On the other hand, during a recession, a rise in inflation may lead to a deepened recession and therefore a fall in local currency. So guys, is this the beginning of the end and that we are going to see a major run from these levels? Because guys, let's go over to the next news article. Bank of England goes into full crisis management mode. The Bank of England went into a full financial crisis mode on Wednesday, rushing out an announcement that the central bank was restarting its money printing presses at whatever scale is necessary and later confirming it was planning up to 65 billion of new quantitative easing. So guys, clearly the Bank of England is switching back on the money printers, which is also quite good for Bitcoin and all risk on assets. So guys, could this mean that the Federal Reserve will be next and that they will start with quantitative easing and switching on the money printers? Because guys, this would be a massive move for Bitcoin. And let's go over to the charts. So guys, on the daily chart, we can see that exactly in these areas we got the news of the quantitative easing from England and at the moment we got this bad CPI release but guys you can see that the price of Bitcoin is pushing higher and are we going to break this downward sloping trend line guys if we're going to break this trend line I really do believe that our next price target is going to be the 30,000 US dollar level because guys we have been in this major downtrend for quite a while and we have consolidated sideways and guys if we go on the weekly chart we can find out what does it mean if we are going sideways for a long period of time. After we have gone sideways in these areas, we saw a massive pump towards the upside. And guys, here we could also see we had some sideways movement and then we saw a massive dump towards the downside. And even here, we had sideways consolidation and afterwards we saw a massive dump towards the downside. And at the moment, we are seeing this massive sideways movement. So are we going to break out towards the downside or towards the upside? And guys, at the moment, I'm getting a quite bullish feeling because we are seeing a bad CPI 
are released. And on the other hand, England is switching back on the money printer. So guys, this means that the Federal Reserve can't keep the inflation numbers low and that all the measures from the Federal Reserve, like the rate hikes, are not getting us out of this inflation. So guys, if we're going to see this break towards the upside, Bitcoin is the best hedge against inflation. And if we are seeing that the money printer is getting back on, we will see that the price of Bitcoin will get back into these levels. So guys, we're going to go on the lower time frames to see what the price movement is doing at the moment and what could we expect. So guys, on the 4 hour chart at the moment, we can see that we are at the level of 20,100 US dollar at the moment. And guys, you can see that we have a lot of resistance in these areas because over here we had a lot of resistance. So guys, this could mean that we are maybe going to see a small correction after this massive pump that we had. So we could expect that the price of Bitcoin will consolidate in these areas and maybe form a W formation. And with that, we're going to reach our trend line that is now at the moment at a level of round about 20,600 US dollars. So guys, this could be the next major move for Bitcoin and the breakout from this long sideways movement. So guys, if you always want to stay updated, go down in the video description below where you'll find my link to my free Telegram group. And guys, if you want to trade the next move, this potential breakout from this consolidation, then go down and use my BitCat link to receive a major deposit bonus and also a bonus by just completing your KYC. So guys, I will keep you updated in my Telegram group and also with the next videos. So make sure to subscribe and smash up the like button and we see each other in the next video.